all uh, taking the, the mould out of the hull has been a real struggle. Uh, and while I was struggling with it, someone came along and said, um, oh, you should have used silicon spray on the, on the hull to make it release. Uh, so I'll try that next time. It's coming out and it's going to be terrific, but uh, you just learn these things after you've struggled and taken all the skin off your knuckles and all of that. So I'll keep getting this out. It's looking terrific inside. Unless I break it. in sections but that's okay that's not a problem ah, here we go. Look at that. See, it's all still nicely intact final bit and Beauty! Look at that! Ooh. I got a couple of uh, little cracks in it where it shrunk, uh, but that's no problem. Um, that's that's easily fixed. I can just uh, get some more paper mache together, and I'll probably end up giving it another coat on the outside. <coughs> I'll put this up to. Uh, a strong light and have a look through it and see where it's thin and where it's thick and I'll just add another layer of paper mache on the outside but looking a bit rough but this will be a little cracker can't wait seriously learn from this and that's exactly the reason why I made this mold or this hull at this time is because I just wanted to check it out and see that it's going to be successful in the future so what I discovered was that when you make something like this uh, the paper mache will shrink obviously because it's got a lot of moisture in it so we've got little cracks in it like down here but that as I said will glue back together again that's not a problem the edges are rough as gut so I'm gonna have to uh, you know uh, do them a little bit better in the future um, all the framing has turned out really well uh, what I do have to do is remember I said it was really hard doing uh, the mould in negative this is a good example what I've done is I've put a nice nub of the paper mache in the keel or the, yeah, the keel so that I can put a channel through there for the uh, prop shaft but what I really should do is on the mould cut the keel off and just make it just add it to the mold when I when I'm making the paper mache if that makes any sense um, but that's one of the things I'm learning as I go uh, there are a few spots where there's no paper mache at all there's a little hole there um, but I am going to put another coat of paper mache uh, over the, the outside and that will uh, fill that hole in so overall I'm really wrapped with it that is going to be one terrific model boat when I was uh, pulling the mould out of the hull 
Um, I got a little bit aggressive with it and tried to get in there, and so I've taken out little sections of the uh, of the hull, but I saved them all. So what I'm going to do now is just with some masking tape, I'll tape that into place and just use some PVA glue and stick it back into place. So I'll do that. This little crack in the transom, I'm going to uh, clamp a block of wood onto it because it's sort of sticking out a little bit. So what I can do is just put a bit of masking tape on there, stick it on, and then just clamp it. A little clamp. And that'll just hold it into place while it glues. Let that set overnight and she'll be just fine. That'll be good. This is a fairly big crack, I got pretty aggressive with this one, so I'll just tape it up and glue it overnight. No, that's not going to work. I'll do the same thing again with a piece of wood. Well, I didn't think that was going to work, but uh, it's actually worked quite well. I can just go through and glue that together. And just let that set overnight. Another little lost section here, so I'll just put some tape on it, glue the edges and stick the little bits in.
Perfect. Leave it what for 24 hours and then come back and tidy up the, the edges. If you haven't seen my previous movies uh, and you're wondering why I go to all the effort to put these frames in, when you're making a hole like this with paper mache, if you don't put these frames in, uh, there's, there's no uh, rigidity in the hull, the wobble like an egg carton. Um, so you've got to build these frames in, in the, at the start, uh, directly onto the, the hull um, for that rigidity. So these, uh, these minor repairs are going to take 24 hours for the glue to dry. Um, but I'm going to do something that I haven't done before in my series of movies. Uh, last week there was an Aboriginal, Australian Aboriginal dance company came through and they did a corroboree just outside my back shed. So uh, I'll finish this movie uh, with a bit of a preview of their dancing. <laughs> I'm gonna go